Hello, welcome to Terrific Turtwick's third narrated Wi-Fi battle. This is a battle against a guy named Loco. Okay, so there's like three ways to pronounce this. Four, actually. See, I can't, I can't even count. It's either Chapin, 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 or Shapin. I have no idea. If he can tell me, if he watches the video and tells me, that'd be great. But I really don't know. So, Loco something 12. I don't know. But it's spelled... I'll show you how to spell it on the description, whatever. Read the description if you want to battle him. It was a great battle. It was for PD Winall's first round winter tournament. So, let's just start the battle. So, he leads off with a Dragonite. And my usual lead is my Crobat. And so I immediately call back, expecting, I don't know, something. But I go into Free Willy, and it turns out to be a T-Bolt. I'm just like, wow, that worked out great. I know he goes for a Waterfall. Which, I have to say, Free Willy takes it pretty nicely. And I just go for an Ice Beam, and I'm pretty sure Free Willy's not going to kill, because Free Willy isn't the best special attacker. I don't know, just not really the best special attacker. But I get him done with the red, and that's always very good. And I'm just really hoping I live an outrage. I'm just kind of really praying. And, you know, Free Willy is just that beast and lives with 26 HP. And I'd gone for Stone Edge, which I was pretty lucky that that hit. It's kind of being risky there. But, you know, the world hates a coward. I take him down. But Free Willy goes down with him, which is always sad. So it's an open field, and I go into my Aura, my Lucario. And he goes into a Salamence, and I'm like, oh yeah, he's not going to expect a Dragon Pulse. He, no one expects a Dragon Pulse out of my Lucario. So I go for a Dragon Pulse, and... So, I'm thinking this probably won't kill, but I think I was thinking it would do more over half. And turns out that the magical little crit fairy came back and was helping me out to kill off that salamance because it probably would have hurt Aura a lot. So now he goes into a Metagross, and I'm like, haha, you probably don't even know I have Earthquake either. I'm so beast. Aura is actually not me. I'm just a little trainer person, but, well, in this game I'm a trainer. Actually, I'm a ten-year-old in this game, but whatever. So I use Earthquake, and it doesn't do as much as I hope for. And he goes for Psychic. And so Aura goes down to, like, 148. Oh, beast. But the special defense drop is why I can't keep Aura in anymore. So I withdraw and go into Frostbite, because Frostbite can, like, repel Psychic like a beast, because, I don't know, it's Frostbite. So I'm thinking this Metagross probably doesn't have much against me, so I just was like, I'll go for Night Slash. And I do, and it doesn't do all that much. And he goes for Rock Smash, and I'm just thinking, whoa, 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 Rock Smash? Really? That's an HM, and it's like the weakest HM. But Frostbite is Beast and lives again. So now I'm just like, I need to have something that can take Rock Smash. So I go into Crowbar for that. And Crowbar, like, takes 12 damage from it. It's like, that is pretty beast. And I know I'm faster, and I go for Heat Wave, and I'm really hoping this kills so he doesn't get a Psychic off. And guess what it does? It kills. Yeah, beast. So, his Metagross goes down also. And now he decides to head into his Magnezone. And I could get Crowbar out there and just Heat Waved it. But I decided... Why not show off my mad predicting skills and switch into my Torterra? And I'm just like, okay, that works. And he uses T-Bolt again, and it doesn't affect me. So I go for Earthquake to completely pwn this Magnezone. Pwn. P-W-N. Pwn. Look it up if you don't know what it means. And obviously this is going to kill. I mean, it's a Magnezone, and it's quad weak, and TT has some pretty beast attack. 
And so I take out the Magnezone, and that's always good. And it was shiny Magnezone, so that's even better. And he goes into Strapter, and I'm thinking, why didn't you just predict my earthquake? I mean, I guess he's not a predicting kind of person. I don't know. And so Intimidate kind of hurts, so I withdraw TT and go into Spike. Because I'm assuming a flying type attack comes, and he uses Aerial Ace. So I'm just like, okay, that's not a bad flying attack. Flying type attack. And the Crit Fairy turns against me and puts a crit on my side, but it, it didn't really matter. So I just go for a Discharge, because I'm pretty sure I'm faster than it. And, I mean, Star Raptors aren't bulky at all. Mm, no, they're not bulky at all. And I take out the Star Raptor. So I was very happy. And I was down to his final Pokemon, which happens to be... Da -da 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 Empoleon. So I'm just like, whatever, Spike can do some stuff. Even if Spike dies, it really doesn't matter. I've got like four more Pokemon. And so, I almost kill him, but Empoleons have better special defense than Strapters. But, lucky me, I get him paralyzed. Although, even no paralyzed hacks. And he gets off a Hydro Pump. I'm just like, wow. Low accuracy plus 50% chance of paralysis. He must be pretty lucky. Well, actually, he's not that lucky. And he takes down Spike. And so I'm just like, whatever, I want to see TT in action again, because TT is really beast. It's like my favorite. No, I don't pick favorites. And I just go for Earthquake for the win. And that takes out Empoleon. So, yeah. I beat him. So I'm moving on to the second round of the tournament. I'm going to be moving on to that. I hope that battle will come up soon. Um, yeah, it was a great battle. Loco sh chat. I don't even know. One of those four ways I pronounced it at the beginning. I, I don't even know. Twelve, that's the less numbers, and I'll leave a link in the channel sidebar. I'll leave a link to his channel in the sidebar. I'm getting my words mixed up here, see? I don't even know. I better leave before I start babbling. Okay. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.